What is up guys, it's KGZilla621 and I just got back from seeing Avengers Age of Ultron, the second s the sequel to the first Avengers, um, and I just gotta say, it was great, it was what I expected, I feel like it could have been any more better, maybe just some nitpicking later on in my review, and I'm also gonna do a spoiler uh, review, cause this is just a spoiler free review, but it was just a great movie, I mean, like all the action sequences which is well shot just everything is pretty much great the only thing is the pacing on this film is really fast but I mean the movie is two and a half hours long but it's still really fast pacing with the film like it goes to the next scene to the other like a whole action sequence in one film but yeah and I, I gotta say that the sport the trailers didn't spoil anything I mean a lot of a lot of the shots were taken from different scenes but a lot of the scenes, it didn't spoil the scenes when you actually saw them in the movie. Um, I mean, a, a couple of the scenes, like, were that, were, like, like the Hulkbuster scene, they didn't spoil anything. Like, they just showed a couple of shots, and that, all that weight was perfect for the, the fight with Hulkbuster. But, like, the movie, it, like, it just starts out with the scene you see with the snow and everything. Like, it just starts out like that, like, they're already working. It's kind of weird how, like, um... Cause if if you're not a like a, I'm not a big superhero fan, but I'm just like reviewing it. and I've seen a lot of the movies, but like I remember at the end of uh, Iron Man three, he went like he like retired, and now he just suddenly comes back without any like, like tuning in. Like he comes back and he notices the problem, but like he just appears with the Avengers fighting. But the movie starts out with a great action sequence with the snow. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of it in the trailer. Um, then you get that scene, and yeah, and like, like I heard that the movie, like the original cut, is like over three hours long, and I'm like, geez. But it, they cut it to like two and a half hours. I think it's like two hours and twenty-two minutes, something like that. But um, it was really, good. it was really long when I watched it, but it was still very fast-paced. So. The movie revolves around Tony Stark and Bruce Banner trying to create artificial intelligence, and um, then they create Ultron. Uh, you know how like the Tor Terminator, all this robot stuff has like been going on for years and years with movies. Um, and this might be my favorite. I don't know, but I gotta talk about Ultron right now. Ultron's performance. Um, James Spader is. Ultron is my favorite character in the movie. I don't care how much he comes out in the movie. He doesn't come out as much as I thought he would, but... I mean, he was a great villain. He had humor, which I really love. And not just, like... If it was just serious, serious, like, you kind of, like, lose the seriousness. But I love that he had humor. It gave him a very human personality. Um, the way he moved, all the CGI in this movie. This whole CGI in this movie was great. It was perfect. Um... His performance was just 10 out of 10. All the jokes he did were hilarious. A lot. This movie made me laugh a lot, actually. Um, and like, just like his showtime wasn't a lot. Like he did come out a lot in the movie, but like not as much as I thought he would. But he was still great. The only thing is that his transformations were pretty quick. Like, like the main stage of his like um, transformation is like. When he like not the broken, cause you see him broken, like you see in the trailer where he's walking up in the party, like he's all broken, and then he calls in the other ones, and they have like a big fight. But like just I don't know how much time passed, but like thirty or forty minutes in, he's like I don't know, probably even twenty minutes in or thirty, I think it's thirty. Like he's already in his like main stage of like, transformation. I thought it was gonna take a while. Like, I wish he had like different kind of suits because he can transport to other bodies and make new bodies. So if you kill him, he just goes to another body. Um, um, but still, I really like Ultron. He's just my favorite character of Avengers too. Um, even though a lot of uh, like I love the human. Yeah, they go really, really in depth with the origins of the um, the superheroes. Not as much as the like main superheroes like Captain America and Iron Man, but they go really in depth with like Hawkeye, Black Widow, and I don't know who else, but like Scarlet Witch and um, Quicksilver. Like they yeah, they show a lot of their history. Um, and it's really cool that they did that. Like Hawkeye was like really big thing in this movie. Like in the other movie, it was just like. You know, kind of there, kind of hanging out with the Avengers, trying to kill. He wasn't a big thing, but he was like a big thing. Um, then, yeah, and 
the Hulk buster versus the Hulk scene, man, that was worth it. It was great. It was so long. I think it was only like probably like three minutes or four minutes of just fighting, but it's like went all over the city the fight. Like it was so good. Like they didn't. This movie didn't have too much build up for each scene. Like it just happened. Like it just starts and ends. Um, but that scene was just awesome. Like we all know it was gonna come, and it just looks so cool when it happens. Like. Like, all the explosions and stuff. Not Michael Bay explosions, but enough. But, yeah, that, that was a great scene. Um, and like I said, the Ultra transformations were really quick. But every time he was on screen, I just smiled. Like, I love seeing him on screen. Um, he was just a great... James Spader nailed it. I just can't believe how good he did. All the action was great. And uh, the final battle was really good. I mean, I don't know. I think I preferred the final battle in the first Avengers. Maybe because it was like a big, big scale. Like it's New Manhattan you're talking about here. But I don't know. But like this one had very better imagery. But I still like the battle in the first movie. Like this one, they had beautiful shots of like all these buildings falling and stuff like that. It was great. Um, and yeah it was it's a, it's a great movie uh there was an end credit scene at the end i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna say it in my uh, spoiler review um it, it's a pretty good end credit scene it is kind of makes a tiny bit of opening for the next movie which is infinity war which comes out in like what uh 2018 17 it's gonna be in two parts um i don't know how big that thing is gonna be but yeah, this movie was great. I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. There was like one couple nitpicks, and that gives a nine out of ten. But if it that if they just fix those little things, it would have been perfect. Like the like the story was great, just that it was too quick the pace, and that was like probably like my main problem. Um, the other stuff I didn't ignore, and also Vision is in this. If you didn't know, um, he was great in it. The actor who played it was really good. Um, I'm not a big fan of Vision because I don't I don't read any of the comics, just the movies. But yeah, it was a great movie. Uh, nine out of ten. Um, I can't wait for the next one. And I don't know if it's better than the other one. I don't know. Man, I like I had like sadly I could not watch it in IMAX because the tickets were sold out. So I had to watch it in like a smaller one, but it's still 3D. It, was, it, look, it still looked great. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I am gonna watch it later in IMAX. But I don't know which one's better. I think maybe. I don't know, because this one has way more action, but more story, and then the other one, like, had, like, a great final battle. Like, it's really hard to kind of, like, the same. It's really hard making a sequel that's better than the original. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. It was a great movie. 9 out of 10. I can't wait for the next one, um, even though it's going to be a long time. But uh, uh, stay tuned for the spoiler review, maybe Sunday or tomorrow. I don't know. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kaiju Zool 621 signing out.